Hey everybody, it's Bobby here and it's almost impossible that it is fall of 2022. Where does the time go? On the upside, this is my favorite time of year because you got um, good baseball is here and uh, almost good playoff baseball. You got college football, you got all sorts of great sports, the US Open, you got all sorts of great things going on at once and I love this time of year. Not to mention that soon, maybe not in Savannah, but where you are possibly, there'll be a little crispness in the air and the leaves will begin to fall. And now we start to think about all things um, spice and pumpkin and lattes and just all sorts of great um, things. So mom, always likes to save the best for last. So here I am. I'm the last edition of your um, fall recipes here. And today we're going to do something that's so simple. I could almost do it blindfolded. It's a very simple cider done on the stovetop. And you know, ciders are, um, they make you feel really good. Maybe if you have a cold or a sore throat or just if it's chilly outside, whatever the case may be, a cider can just make you really want to, um, you know, cuddle up on the sofa next to the fireplace or uh, sit outside on the back deck or with your family or whatever. Um, but they also make your house smell great just because of the ingredients. So let's get started. Very, very simple here. We've got uh, some apple cider, and we're just going to put this on the stovetop uh, and turn it on to kind of a uh, maybe a medium, medium low. That's about where I like to live um, with everything is sort of a medium, medium low. Okay, so there is our cider, and we've got some pear juice, pear nectar. And I'm going to let this warm up just a little bit. It'll only take a second. And to that, I'm going to add some brown sugar, exactly as you would expect. And we'll stir, stir, stir in the brown sugar. And to that, we will add a cinnamon stick. These are so lovely and wonderful. They look good. They're great decoration. They smell great. And a little bit of cloves. and black peppercorns. And this is a great fall combination. It's gonna make your kitchen and your living room smell wonderful. It's so simple. And when it's nice and warm, we'll come back and dip us up a cup. Hey everyone, our cider has been sitting on the stovetop for about 15 or 20 minutes. Remember that it was uh, pear nectar, apple cider, little brown sugar, um, there are some cloves, some black peppercorn, and a cinnamon stick in it, and it smells so nice. This just smells like a big cup of fall, and uh, I've got myself a nice coffee cup, and in it I decided to drop a cinnamon stick, and I'm just going to add my hot cider right to it. it. smells so nice, and I would leave this, I will leave this, sitting right on the stove top. And when folks come in the house, it's gonna smell so, so nice. Let's see what kind of a flavor profile we've got here. Ooh, cheers. Ooh, that's nice. That'll cure what ails you right there. The pear is really nice and mixed with the cider. Um, it's sweet, but not too sweet. You can taste the, uh, the peppercorns just a little bit in there. It gives it a nice flavor, and the cinnamon stick really just finishes it off. If you're ready for fall, make this right away. It'll only take a few minutes, and it's delicious. Mmm. I could use a little bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> For the adults. <laughs> it's good. It's real good. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.